Blessings to everyone that is watching today, A Moment in the Word. I want to take the time today to just speak to you about how it is that we are to walk in the steps of the righteous. The Word of God encourages us in Psalm 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps with the wicked. You know, in life we take many um and we make many, many choices and we have a free will. Isn't that something that God gives us a free will to be able to choose from right or from wrong? Today, I want to share just a couple of scriptures and a couple of words of encouragement to be careful how you're walking in your Christian walk. So let us pray and ask God to encourage us and to teach us by his spirit and lead us how to walk in the blessings of God and not in the ways of the wicked. Lord, I thank you that your word says that when Jesus died, he sent us the helper, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one as believers that guide and direct our path. But we have a responsibility and that responsibility, God, is to allow the leading of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We're asking you today, Lord, to help us to, uh, lead us to guide us through your spirit to be able to walk in the blessings and not to walk as the wicked walk today. You know, sometimes, Father, we see that the wicked prosper, but your word says that it's only for a short time that they prosper. Our reward is great when we continue to walk, when we continue to honor you and make the right choices willfully to be guided by your spirit we ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would enlighten us and fill us with the courage and the strength. Fill us with the power of the light of your glory to continue to walk as you would have us to walk in your promises and your commands. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, here, as we honor God in all that we do, whether it's little or small, we are to honor God. You know, when, when Moses... Um, went to the Pharaoh when Moses commanded the Pharaoh and, and told the Pharaoh uh, to let the people go. Pharaoh offered three compromises to Moses. First of all, he said, uh, offered to let them go if they did not go too far. You know, isn't that something that the enemy will say? Oh, you know, just a little bit of sinning or just a little bit of wickedness. It won't harm you. And don't go, don't go just, you know, a little, just, you, you know, you can go far and, and, you know, there's grace there for forgiveness. Well, you know, the enemy awful, always offers us not to go too far, but guess what? When he offers us and says, oh, it's not going to take you that far. Guess what? Then we move on into darkness. We move on into bondage and we move on into greater sin. Second, he offered to let them go, uh, provided that they left their children in Egypt. You know, today, we're going to soon celebrate Father's Day. We just celebrate Mother's Day. And we have a responsibility as parents to our children, whether we're uh, married or single, whether uh, there's only one parent in the home, or whether you're just a grandparent uh, to your grandchildren, or maybe an aunt or an uncle. We have the responsibility not to leave our children continuing to be in the world, to offer them uh, things of the world to make them happy. You know, sometimes we spoil our children uh, or our grandchildren or our nieces or our nephews by giving them the wrong things. Sometimes we need to understand that as parents, as a mom and as a dad, as a relative, we have a responsibility to not leave our children in Egypt, which represents the world. Third, he offered to let them go uh, if they would leave their businesses and their interests in Egypt. <laughs> you know, sometimes the world sometimes offers us things in the business world that will take us completely out of even going to church, even uh, praying or even reading the word. We get so... Uh, wound it up in business, in finances, in money, 
Uh, well, if they don't pay me, I'm not going to preach. If they don't pay me, I'm not going to teach. Well, why should I uh, do anything in the church? I'm not a servant. Well, you know something? The word of God says that Jesus was the greatest servant of all. He knew that he was about his father's business. And today, are you about your father's business? Or is the financial temptation of the world, has it sucked you in and vacuumed you into the fact that you don't honor God? You don't go to uh, church on Sunday. You don't congregate. You don't read your word. Uh, you don't pray. You don't receive communion. You don't even maybe think about God. Because you're so busy in the busyness of the business of the world that you have left your life and you are leading your life just in material possessions. And also as the second temptation that was given uh, to Moses from the Pharaoh, have you left your children in Egypt? Are you not giving your children the example of being Christ-like? Uh, are you... Are you uh, saying, well, you know, just a little drink or just a little pot, just a little pornography, it's okay. It's not going to harm me. Have we been tempted to the place of leaving the place of holiness? Have we forgotten that God has called us to be sanctified? That means set apart. We are, yes, to be in the world, but we need to be careful not to participate in worldly things where we forget that God has called us to be holy. Moses said no to all these things. And Satan will make this offer to you and to me one more time every week. Put a distance between yourself and the world. Remember, yes, we are to uh, invite people of the world, those that do not know Christ to church. And, and yes, we're supposed to mentor and we're supposed to go out and reach them. But Nowhere in the world does in the word does it say to become like them, to to do the same things that they do. You know, you can be with someone that drinks and not drink. You can be with somebody that swears and not swear. You you can be with somebody uh, that wants to t watch um, uh, things on TV that are not right, right, and you can walk away, stand up, and go to another room. You know, you don't have to be ugly about it. But you do have the responsibility, and so do I, as a believer, to walk not like the wicked, as Psalm 1 and 1 speaks to us. We are blessed. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps of the wicked. We need to understand that we are called to love and to minister to those around us, but not to become like them. One of the greatest gifts that God has given us is the gift of free will. You and I have a choice. You and I can choose the right way, the sanctified way. You know, some people say, well, you know, Christian, being a Christian is a boring life. Being a follower of Christ is boring. You know, since I have accepted Christ, I have never lived one day bored. Let me tell you, it's always been exciting. The blessings of God has been on my life. And when things have gone wrong, when I've had trials and tribulations, because of my walk with God, I was able and you will be able to be sustained. You know something? We need to prepare because we have good days, but we also will have days that are hard. And when we're walking with God and make a choice and a free will to put him first, we will continue to be blessed as people of God. And being blessed doesn't mean that everything is going to be okay. Being blessed means that we're able to overcome because guess what? God, the Spirit of God, walks right within us, beside us, in front of us, and in back of us. And also, the Word of God says that he gives his angels charge over us. So you can choose and I can choose if you and I want to enjoy the blessings of God. We need to understand that you and I need to give this lifestyle of choosing that 
line, the choosing of lining up with God's word and lighting up with God's will. You know, today, as I just meditate on Father's Day coming up and we celebrated Mother's Day, I want to encourage you uh, as a parent, as a grandparent, as an aunt or a cousin, why don't you be intentional to help a child, one of your family members, to know Christ? Invite them to church. Now we're going through Vacation Bible School. We're having a camp for the children. There is so much that you can encourage that child to participate in. Not only that, how about taking time to pray with that child? Well, you have a great opportunity when you sit at a table to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or snack. Why don't you take the time to bow your head and bless the Lord because of his goodness to you and to that child? Today, I want to encourage you on this celebration of Father's Day to remember that being a father is following the example of God the Father. The word of God says that Jesus honored the will of the Father because the Father was always directing the path of Jesus and honoring Jesus and telling and guiding Jesus the right way. So today, take some time to not be tempted. Remember, Moses was offered. Well, don't go so far. Just, you know, you can sin a little bit or, or you can participate a little bit. Uh, just don't go so far away. Listen, run for your life. Satan wants to destroy your spiritual life. And then the second temptation was, listen, leave your children. No, don't leave this generation in the dark, in the wilderness. Remember, you and I have a responsibility to guide the life of our children. And thirdly, remember, don't get involved so much in your business and in your work that you forget to honor God. Honor him by the times of prayer, by the times of studying the word, and by the time of celebration, getting together with other believers and celebrating the goodness of God on Sundays and even on Wednesday. This is Lydia, a moment in the word. I love sharing with you just the thoughts that God places on my heart according to his word. If you don't have a local church, remember, we're here at Shiloh Pentecostal Church. We would love to see you. Our services are on Sunday at 1030 uh, in the morning and then on Wednesday at seven o'clock. We would love to have you right there in Godwin, North Carolina. This is Lydia, a moment in the word. Have a blessed, blessed Father's Day. And remember, lead someone to Christ as you not only live the example, but also share the word of God. God bless you.